goes back to what I'm talking about as the things that are bogging you down or the things that are eating up your time. In this book, it focused on the things that are kind of draining your energy. And the and and what it eventually got to is I once you identify those things in the way you want to live. And, you know, it broke it down into four categories. It was, uh, you know, physical, mental, spiritual, you know, those sort. There was a fourth one. But what it talked about is once you've decided, look, this is what you want and this is what you want out of life and th th those sorts of things, what it got to was what they called rituals and habits. And it said, you know, habits are things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. They're just habits. And whether we like it or whether we realize it or not, they were formed by rituals. And... Some to, most of the time, our habits are formed by rituals that we didn't decide on. Our kids got to be at school at a certain time. Our, we eat dinner at our, my wife gets off at work at, you know, at a certain time. And so we develop these kind of habits based around unintended rituals. And what this book explained was, you know, look, if you want to change that and you want to have a, a habit in your life, then be very um, specific with your rituals. Create the rituals, write those rituals into your daily routine, because if you do that and force yourself to do it over a long, long period of time, then it be, will become a habit. And so knowing that I wasn't working out enough and those sorts of things,